Hi, I'm Nathan Tracy from TE Connectivity, and today I wanted to take a few minutes and talk to you about the new 400 gig form factors that TE is helping to bring to market. In this demo, we're showing three different 400 gig form factors. The first one is called Kobo, and Kobo is an embedded optical module that will be inserted onto a host line card using TE's sliver connector. So this is one method that is being developed by the industry to support 400 gig. Another interconnect solution that's being developed is called QSFPDD. This supports eight lanes times 50 gigabits per second, and it's a pluggable module form factor. The key benefit of QSFPDD is it has backwards capability. So you could plug a legacy QSFP cable or module into this QSFPDD receptacle. And then the third form factor is OSFP. And OSFP is also 8 times 50 gigabits per second. It's also a pluggable form factor. But it includes an integrated thermal management system to help cool the optics inside. And also it has, because it doesn't have backwards capability, the connector design able to be optimized for enhanced SI performance. So in the operating demo that we have here, we have um, chips from Broadcom that are driving the two uh, QSFPDD and OSFP cable assemblies and then receiving the signal over here. And here we're showing the bit error rate performance for the two cable assemblies. And you see that they both are uh, working very well. We're looking, OSFP is running right now about 2E to the minus 10, and it looks like the QSFPDD is running uh, 8E to the minus 10. So good bit error rates being achieved on both cable assemblies. One of the things that you see a little bit different is the OSFP cable assembly is three meters long versus the QSFP DD cable assembly, which is two and a half meters long. And the main thing that drives that is the size of the form factor. So because this supports legacy QSFP modules, there's a limitation on how big of a cable you can use. In the case of OSFP, um, it's a slightly larger cross-section and therefore we can use 26 gauge cable instead of 28 gauge cable that we use in QSFP DD and that's why we get the reach difference, three meters with OSFP versus two and a half with QSFP DD. But as you see, they both are offering good electrical performance, uh, very acceptable BERs, and we're very excited to be launching these 400 gig form factors to the marketplace.